aje aje in binti malu channel umekuja hapa kuangalia video mpya nyingine ya mi semo ni semo ya kiswahili kiswahili yeah tumwe mambo yako ya kuchia <laughs> so we're gonna have test for the proverb and um, as I say in every video, this is my translation of the proverb. It could mean differently to different people, so please don't take my translation as the final meaning. That's how proverbs work. They are meant to mean different things to different people. So keep that in mind and let us go to the first. Adui mpende kumchukia ni kuchukia ndugu yako. Ubora do you understand by that proverb? Adui mpende kumchukia ni kuchukia ndugu yako. Kuchukia ni kumchukia ndugu yako. Adui mpende kumchukia ni kuchukia ndugu yako. Na maanisha ndugu yako ni adui pia. Usiende kuchukia Technically, Ooh. what the proverb is saying is that love your enemy, hating your enemy is like hating your own relative. Well, yeah, but the meaning behind it. What do you mean? Why would they say relative? Relative is like, cause when you hate your relative, technically that's your blood and there's no point of hating, you know, your own blood. I don't think you know the meaning. I think that that's, uh, my thing is, the meaning is there's no point of hating your enemy because at the end of the day, it's going to bring you more harm than loving them. I think that's what the point is. Because if you hate your, your relative... That's for real though. Who loves their enemy? But hating them is strong. I'm just saying, hating is too much of yeah, an emotion. Hating strong where yeah. you can ignore them or something. <laughs> you might put them at a distance it's but not hate. not easy to hate. It's not easy to hate. Oh no, it's easy to hate. So you have to take the higher road. Yeah, I think ignoring is a good option. Yeah. Napenda lakini na shindo. Napenda lakini na shindo. Napenda lakini na shindo. Yes. I lack, but I'm unable to. I love, I like, I love. But I'm unable to. Ah, this means love is a very difficult thing. Yes. Yes. I love but I can't. Yeah. loving is not easy. No, that's not the meaning. That must be it. Napenda lakini na shindwa. Eh. I wish I can't. Yeah, like you you wish. know like when they say the mind is the body the mind is willing but the body is too weak. It's kind of like the same thing. Unatamani. Lakini natamani lakini na shindwa. Yeah. I feel like that's different. Yeah, natamani lakini na shindo. You know, natamani kufanya hiki. Lakini na shindo kwa sabu sinda gali. Yeah, natamani ningeenda mjini kote ni zunguke zunguke. Yeah, like when you like a cause but you can't like commit to it because... Because there's some... Yeah. Mepinga mezi ya kukatika. I'm understanding where you're coming from. Tuendane basi. The next one is sita jali kuumia mengi ni mevumilia. Mama? In English? Yeah. I won't care even if I'll be hurt. Yeah. Because I've tolerated a lot. Give me five. Watch out. Look at that. Translation. It's translation. It's translation. Yeah, it's only to English. Because I think it's a new man. That's translation. You're a man. That's translation. You're a translation. You're a translation. That's a Swahili. Really pure, pure. You're not going to translate. You see, you know. Word for word. Word for word. Translation. I'm probably a new thing. There's a visual. Yeah, but yeah. So that's what it means. It's basic, right? Like basic English. Being hurt. Yeah. Being, you're okay with being hurt because you've been through a lot but in life. How can you say? I mean, 
what other word can you use instead of hurt? Which other word can you use? Because uh, that one doesn't. I will say the same thing again. Hmm? Fijali kumia mengine mani? Nimevumilia. Fita jali kumia mengine mevumilia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it means they've been through a lot. Yeah. And they have conquered. No, you have not conquered. You have been through a lot. So you've you persevered. 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 Yeah, yeah, you have been through a and lot. Persevered. See, not, not that they don't care. They're not no. afraid. They're not afraid of, of bad them. moments. Yeah, there's nothing which. There's the last thing which does what. I'm afraid of. Yeah, because you've been through a lot. Been through a lot. The next Swahili proverb is Kushukuru Hakuduru. Oh my gosh. So that in English says being grateful does not bring any harm. Yeah. Being grateful doesn't cause any harm. And basically that teaches talks about gratitude and how you need to be grateful because at the end of the day you don't lose anything from being grateful. The next one is Bilauri Siokopo. That <laughs> <laughs> translate it into English. A metal cup is not a plastic <coughs> Bilauri Siokopo. <laughs> A metal cup is not a plastic container. <laughs> a drinking a glass cup? is not worth a tin cup. It's not worth. There's no such thing as worth in Bilal. Anyway, it means a drinking glass is not a tin cup. Okay, yeah. So what do you think that one means? It means a drinking glass is of higher quality. <laughs> you mean a tin cup is of higher quality? A drinking glass. Technically, it's a tin cup. Why a cup is higher quality than a drinking glass? Yeah, because the other one is a quiet glass. Cup is a plastic. Cup is tin. A tin. Bati. So technically, it Copo talks about beauty versus efficiency. Like, Bilauri it's looks efficient. nice. Bilauri looks nice, but it easily gets ruined. While a tin cup is ugly looking, but it lasts longer. So no, it's like beauty no. versus performance. Bilauri does not look nice. B You're gonna put a Bilauri yes. here. Bilauri does not. Bilauri is efficient. It is made of metal. However, many times you drop it, it will never break. What it about a never tin? Get a hole. A tin can get a hole. Are you serious? You. It's not a tin. Copo. The next proverb is the Leopita Sindwele. Finish. Tugange <laughs> Ajayo. So in English, it translates to Leopita Sindwele. What does Sindwele mean? It's like what has the past is not important. Let us focus on the future. And the past is not important. That's what the saying says. <laughs> the past is not troublesome. Let's focus on the future. Like, don't focus on your past and have regrets and all that. But instead, think of the future and what you can do better to make your future better and to avoid past mistakes. Yawabu la kesho huandaliwa leo. And in English, it translates to tomorrow's answer is prepared today. Right? Isn't it Yawabu solution? It's an answer. Yes, you have to prepare today for tomorrow's answer. It's like meal prep. Tomorrow's answer is prepared for today. You prepare for tomorrow's answer today. Yes. Yeah. It's like meal prep. Yes, I think it means like planning. You have to plan your day ahead so that you like. I think surprises. it means start today. Don't keep pushing things at you tomorrow. I will start tomorrow. This tomorrow. This. I think you should start now in the moment. Ray. Or at least start planning. <laughs> I think that's what it means. Yeah. 
Like I have a black shirt on my neck. Kohoa upate tonge. Takunya chai tu. Kohoa upate tonge. Cough and you will. Tonge is like a big chunk of something. Right? So my transition is cough and you may get a mouthful. Yeah, that's that's a tongue. Cough and you might get a mouthful. So in technically it's saying that if you are quiet, nobody's gonna notice you. Versus if you like <coughs> somebody will acknowledge you at some point. They have no idea what it means. Yeah. Ibilisi Ibilisi wa mtu ni mtu. Translate. Are you putting something on? Ibilisi wa mtu ni mtu. The enemy of a human is a human. Like if this isn't it like a devil. <laughs> oh. The devil of a person is a person. This is it. The evil spirit of a man is a man. Spirit. <laughs> Ibilisi is like the devil. Yeah. Anyway, it's like the enemy of a person is a person. So I think it means all evil originates from human man. being. Yeah, like evil. whatever is evil, whatever Source is wrong, evil is, is caused by your fellow being or yourself. That's deep, but bruh. The source of evil is Satan. Yeah, that's true. But in, well, but in Earth, Earth, evil is caused by a fellow human being. So there's no other person to blame. For the wrongs of this world. Ibilisi wa mtu ni mtu. Animals can cause you harm. Well, unless they attack you or something. But human beings, they can play you dirty. Okay. Yitihada hayondoi kudura. Take a guess. I don't know what kudura means. What about Jitihada? Jitihada um, is effort. Oh, look at you! It means effort. Ooh, wait! <laughs> <laughs> it means effort. <laughs> effort. It means effort would counter faith. Yeah. So yeah, effort won't counter faith. You might have, you might put in a, a lot of effort into something, but if you don't believe in the thing you're putting your effort into, then it's pointless. I think it also means it's like having no purpose. You gotta have faith. I think it also means like even if you're putting effort even if you have faith don't rely on faith alone yeah i like put some work in it yeah you can't just rely on faith there is faith and without there work is, <laughs> it's dead there is also putting work in it you're gonna believe it's gonna happen but yeah you gotta plan it out you gotta set your plan and know what <laughs> what your end goal is so yeah those are the 10 swahili proverbs we <laughs> yeah, we'll have a story time about the name. <laughs> if you like us to have a story time about the name, give it that. <laughs> yeah, you know what all of that means. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to keep spreading the African love. And I shall see you next time. I got Bye. a question. How do you spread the African love? I want to know, like... How do you spread the African love? Oh, you're asking. Like, what do, how do you spread the African love? By making like, videos like this that educate people about Africa. So, instead of people having negative images of Africa, they can have more positive images of Africa. Good, good, good. How do you spread the African love? Man, I eat the African food <laughs> if I can. <laughs> Speaks like Hindi, whatever. Word, I can. word. Also embracing your African culture. And I wear it's my African, African clothes love. too. Word. And Hashtag. I'm still black. <laughs>
There's nothing more African than that, man. Couldn't get more African. And equal, but uh, we're gonna debate on that. Nah, not today. Okay, black with natural hair. Look, look. Look, look. Yes, it she's might shady. Very kinky hair. Shady. Okay, guys, I shall see you on the next video that is going to be about being thankful. Kwaheri. Peace out. Good job.